Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Hina Sheikh and I welcome you to this YouTube channel. In today's episode, I am going to teach you how you can create custom frames which you can use in Canva. So in Canva, you have different frames but they are limited. Suppose you want to create your own custom frames, you can do that in two different ways. So the first one is using PowerPoint and the second one is using Figma. So I will be sharing about both of the ways but you can do this only with Canva Pro version. You cannot do this with Canva free version. So you will need Canva Pro version to uh, download the image which we are going to convert it into custom frames. Okay, so let's go ahead and try it out in Canva. So as you can see, I'm here in Canva's page and over here first, let's add an element which we want to convert it into a custom frame. So before telling you more about a custom frame, let me tell you what a frame is and we will then continue. So let me go to elements and search for frames. Okay. So when I search for frames, these are called as frames. Whatever you're say, seeing over here is called as frame. So this is a circular frame. In this, I can simply drag and drop any image super easily just like that okay so this is what a frame is so we are going to make a frame of an element and it will be of course a custom custom frame so first way is to do it with powerpoint and then we will see the figma one okay so let's add a element which we are going to convert and make a custom frame so for that i'll search for silhau uh, I'm not sure what we pronounce it. Uh, this is the spelling you can look for it and you will find such black and white images, black and white elements in Canva. So why we are choosing black and white is because with the help of this, it will be easy for us to convert them into custom frames. So make sure you choose uh, a single color elements. Okay, so let's add a element which we like. So let's uh, let me add this kids image. So if you can see, I have added this element over here and the next step is you have to download it as SVG. Okay, so you have to download it as SVG. This is what is pro. Uh, if you don't have Canva Pro, what you can do is you can click on the link in the description of this video and you can get 30 days of Canva Pro for free. And I'm telling you, you should definitely try Canva Pro because once you try it, I'm sure there is not gonna be like you will not return to Canva free version. So I highly recommend it. Uh, so here we are going to download this as SVG. Let me come over here, choose SVG and I'll download it. Okay, so it is getting downloaded. Once it is downloaded, let's now go to PowerPoint. Okay, so I'll just delete this so that there is a blank page. In PowerPoint, what you have to do is come to insert and click on pictures and then let's choose this device and I'll just upload the picture which we just downloaded from Canva. This is the picture. Now we have to convert this picture into shape. To do that, you have to click on graphics format and over here you will see convert to shape. Let's click on that and it is now converted into a shape. So before that, we have to delete this background, this white color background, I'll delete it. And now we just have this one single image. Okay, sorry, the shape. Now what we are going to do is we are going to fill this shape with an image, which is possible in PowerPoint as well as in Figma. So let's do that first. We'll right click on it and you can see there is this fill option. When you click on it, you can see we can choose picture. So I'll choose picture and I'll insert a picture from file. So let me just in insert any picture which I want. Okay, so if you can see, I have just added a picture inside this boy's image and now I will download this. So, okay, so you have to come to file and then you can download this as, okay, I'll just download it as a PDF. And uh, if you can see from the drop dropdown, uh, before that, let me name it something. I'll just name it demo, demo one. And from the file type, you have to choose PDF. So let's find where this PDF is. Okay. And we'll save it. I'll save it to my desktop. And it's done. Okay. Now, once we have downloaded it in from PowerPoint, we will upload it into Canva. So to do that, you have to come to Canva's home dashboard and click on this create a design button. 
and you see there is an option to import a file let's click on that and we can come back to our desktop and this is the pdf which we just downloaded from powerpoint and i'll upload that and it will take a few seconds to import the file into canva and once done we can view it so let me open it it is uploaded and as you can see the frame is over here now when i will click when i'll delete this image i can now you can see this image is converted into a frame i can insert any other image into it let me show you i'll just drag another and e uh, image and drop it into this frame which we just made in powerpoint so this is super easy to make a frame like this with powerpoint the next one is using figma so with figma also let me first uh, you know add a element and i'll show you how to do it with figma as well so i'll just find a image which i want to let's do it for this feather uh, this is the feather so what i'll do is again we will download this in svg format i'll choose the page number 2 and i'll download it and we will go to figma figma is a tool wherein you can just go ahead and sign up for free and once you have signed up you will be taken to this page and you have to click on new design file and once you are here you can then drag and drop the file which you just downloaded from canva just like this and then you can click on the image which we want to convert it into a uh, this uh, element which we want to convert it into a frame so i'll click on that and i'll scroll down and you can see there is this fill option we'll click on this fill and from this drop down we will choose image and let's choose our image i'll choose one image from the downloads let me choose the same image uh just like that and i have added the image now what i want to do is i want to export it you will see there is this export setting we will choose pdf and we will export it okay so it is now exported now let's come back to canva's home dashboard similarly like we did how we uploaded the powerpoint pdf we'll upload this pdf so i'll again click on import file and this time i'll upload the pdf which we just downloaded and again it will take a few seconds to upload into canva once done we'll open and see it so as you can see this is converted into custom frame i can delete this and now i can add any other image which i want into it simply very simple like if i want to add anything green i can choose any image i can you know just drag and drop like this okay so it is super easy to create custom frames like this in uh, powerpoint and figma and start using it in canva i hope this tutorial was helpful for more such tutorials make sure you subscribe to this channel and do share this video with other canva lovers because i'm sure we people who love canva are gonna really love this feature of how we can make custom frames in canva and stay tuned for more such videos